Hello, Mark Crossfield here. In my hands, I've got the Ping Scottsdale TR, the answer to. I've been using this in a lot of our course vlogs recently. Let's give it a little review and tell you a little bit about why I use this putter. Let's get stuck in. Right guys, Scottsdale Ping TR, this is the answer to. This has the variable grooves that Ping talk about and you've got the adverts with Hunter and what have you and I think they've got the adverts with uh, Lee Westwood using it which often makes you wonder, you know, we don't kind of connect him to putting so much but that's a different thing. So variable grooves, Ping are telling us they give us consistent roll if you hit it out the heel or toe. Now this is something when I've practiced with this putter, to be honest with you, I'm not feeling that. I'm going to have to trust or not trust their scientists who are telling me that. What I like about this putter is the really lovely finishes. I love the dark finish to the white line up lines on it. Anyone who watches my videos or older ones, I've got the old fashioned answer putter. It's a shape that I really, really enjoy. We've also got in this putter the adjustable length, which I think is really funky. So you can change this putter to whatever length you want, um, simply by keying in here and moving it up and down. Very clever design. What also happens is this putter is quite heavy at the top end because of this weight. Obviously quite fashionable at the moment, the counter balancing the putter heads. This one's almost doing it a little bit on its own. Let's give it a couple of putts. Um, obviously I've used it in videos. I mean, what I love about this shape is it is just such a classic design. This shape has been around for years and I think it will be around for years. Um, all they're doing is putting their new face technology on this. Slotted, have some of that. Um, and what they're also doing is putting their kind of premium finish on it a little bit. Um, I like the squareness of the lines. Like I say, the variable face grooves. I'm not particularly, stay left that one, I'm not particularly buying into that. That's not why I would buy this putter. I'm not saying they're not right. I'm sure they could prove it to me if they took me to their lab. But that's not something I would feel. I don't think you would. It's that classic finish. The contrast between the white and the black I really love. And it's that answer design that's been around for years that I totally buy into. I've got this putter. And I think the changeable um, length of the putter is a very, very good idea. Really funky and I quite like the counterbalance actually. I like the heavier handle. Let me know what you think guys. Are you a Ping putter fan or not? Obviously putters they kind of blew the war, they blew the whole market up with their putters with such classic designs. Is this one that is going to be a classic design for you? Post comments down below and we'll speak to you all soon. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Also thumbs up the video, post comments, love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social. The more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.